Hey guys, in this video I'm going to try Fast API for the first time. I know that Fast API is a library for building APIs very fast using Python. As they say themselves, Fast API framework is high performance, easy to learn, fast to code, and ready for production. Since I haven't tried this before, I'm not going to build anything very big. So the goal for this video is to just build an API for simple to do application. So the first thing I've done now is to just go into Fast API website and then I want to click installation so I can see what I need to do. Great. So I need to install Fast API using pip. So I can just copy this command, go to the command line. I created a new folder here called Fast API. And then in here I want to create a virtual environment. So Python 3-m then 382 and when that is created I can say source env bin activate and then pip install fast api so now this the newest version of fast api is installed so let's go back to the browser I will also need an ASGI server for production blah 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 so let me just copy this command also and paste it and then UVI corn or UV corn, I don't know how to pronounce it, will be installed as well. Great. So then I go down to the example, create a new file called main.py, post in this information. Great, so just copy this and see what this looks like. So while this is installing, I can go to Visual Studio Code. And then create a new file here, main.py. Then I just paste in this and save. So then I just need to wait for this to install. Great. So then if I go back to the browser, you can see here how to run this. So copy this command, paste, hit enter. Then I can just click this URL. And then the front page says hello world. And if I go back to the code, this route for the front page says hello world. Nice. Let me try the different route items. Four. Item ID four. Q is null. Nice. So this seems to be working now. So then the next step then is to make it possible to have a list of to do's. So to do's equals a list and then I can create just for testing ID one title actually I don't need ID for this one the first task and then title the second task so then when you get or go to the front page I want to list out all of the tasks that we have so we need to do something like this not something like this but yes so instead of returning this I think I can just say return to do's maybe save go to the front page and see yes now I actually got a list of to do's there nice but a list of to do's isn't very much use so let's just go into here and read a little bit more okay blah 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 okay so we have this docs so let me try to open this so this was automatically using swagger now and if i go read root then you can see here that i got successful response everything there seems to be working try it out execute and then curl a request url and then the details with the information i get from the server nice so everything there seems to be working and i think or hope that i can actually create a, f a post route to post the data to the api let me just read a little bit more so you have the put. Okay, just need to know how to use the post. 
post okay so I can probably do the same as I do here so just copy this and paste it app.post to do's and this shouldn't go to a specific uh, item or to do ID so add to do and then this is probably if I read it correctly the fields that are going to be uh, submitted to the server yeah so here I need a title and this should be a string so str then remove this and then I can say return oh um, here I don't want to return anything other than the, the, the task itself so title title but when this is submitted I want to print title and I want to add this to the list up here very soon so go back here now everything there is working and if I then go back to the swagger documentation refresh I now have a post route there called add to do okay I'm click try out test to do execute then it was posted like this to the server the request URL looks like this and then the response I got back was that nice so that means that I was actually able to post now to the server nice um, and you can see here that I have the test to do there as well so this should actually have a simple ID now one ID 2 I need this for putting and deleting um, so when this is added I want to push it to the list up here and to do that I say to do equals ID rand int just generate a random integer between 1000 and 10,000 just need to import this from random import rand int scroll down and then set the title to title like that here I also want to return the ID so the user will be able to get this when he create a new to do so here sorry can do this a little bit differently ID ID equals and then put it in like that so let's try this again just refresh here then try it out execute and now I got ID and the title back nice so then I need to do the same thing now for uh, put because I want to put information to the server when we update a task so let's go back to Visual Studio Code then we can say at app.put to do's and then we do the same thing down here to specify which ID or what you want to put in the URL so to do ID and then when this is done I want to return the same thing down here to return the ID but here we can say to do ID and I want to return the new title so I also need to say def update uh, to do item ID actually I don't think I need this I'll just go back and look at the documentation okay I have the item ID as well as well as up there okay so this is integer and then title is a string of course this should be to do ID like that I can just remove this I don't have to look at it anymore so save this go back and refresh here 
Okay, it's not loading. Invalid syntax. I think I forgot to add a colon. Just say refresh. Close this one. Now we have a new put URL here. Try it out. And then the ID we want to change is for example 2, which then hopefully later will po uh, point to this one. And then the new title execute. So I put this information like this, and now we get this back. The new title. Great. So what we then want to do is to get this uh, to do from this list and update the title. So to do equals to do's dot. Uh, how do I get this based on a parameter? Say Python get dict object by attribute from objects field get dictionary python get dict object based on value like that okay maybe i can just say it like that list of objects select dictionary object based on value okay so yes it's something like this i need to use you can use next for my key okay so let's try to use this one then i say print to do just to see that i actually get the to do from up here to do's where id is to do id and save so then we go back here refresh try it out to title execute information is of course this one but if i go to the command line you can see here that i actually got the correct task from the dictionary up here and then I want to update that and say to do dot title equals title. And if this was Django, for example, you would have to run to do dot save or similar. So then here we can say to do dot id and to do dot title. Then you know that we get the updated title sent back to the front end. So try it out to new title execute okay i got the internal server error dictionary has no attribute title maybe i need to set it differently and probably the same down there like that I always forget things like this so update try it out to new title execute and then you can see there that it's actually updated the title like that. Nice. And then I can just do the same thing for delete. So app dot so at app dot delete. And I can use the same URL. Def delete to do. And here I only want the to do ID like that. And then I can get it like this. And then I just need to check how do I delete object from a list based on the value. So delete, sorry, Python delete object from list based on uh, value, I think it is. Okay, so just use the remove function. So to do's dot remove to do. Hopefully that will work. Then below here I can say print to do's to check that it has been removed from the list. And now we need to return something to the user. So return 
uh, here we can just say message and the to do was deleted and save so no errors go back here to the swagger where we can test this close this and we got one more part here try it out Set to execute the message was deleted and if I go back here now you'll see that the to do object only had one object because now this was deleted nice so now we actually have a complete API using fast API for a simple to do application we can now get all of the to do's we can add to do's we can update to do's and we can delete to do's nice so I must really say that I like working with fast API even if it doesn't have all of the features like Django has there is some really cool uh, ways to create an API doing this if you have some other suggestions for things to build using fast API feel free to leave a comment below and answer as soon as I can see you in the next video